can say it's just uh, it's like it's been a bit of a haven for a, for a dumping ground. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to do a bit of exploring because there's a bit of a news in regards to the uh, Bisbam Tram Shelter, which we're going to visit a little bit later on in the video. But first of all, the view from Cleveland's is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to show you that and we'll get right into the video. So uh, come and join me. That is an absolute fantastic view. So you see the uh, the sun is all shining onto the sea, which we'll be going down uh, very shortly. And what a wonderful, wonderful view that is. I just want you to, uh, to bring this to, uh, to people, because that is remarkable. You can just see, like I said, the, uh, the sun reflecting right across the water. So there's lots of, there's lots of uh, development being going on in Cleveland in uh, recent years. And we're gonna have a quick look at some of them because you know a lot of people have visited Cleveland's in the past uh, and they won't realize what's been going on so we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around uh, past the Norbrecht Castle Hotel and head a little bit towards the um, the Bisbam tram shelter and like I said I'll let you know what's going on with that because there's big plans in the pipeline so yeah let's uh, let's keep going forward so yeah we're just going on the uh, the promenade bit of Cleveland's heading towards Bisbam you see that huge anchor there Look at that one, so that must have come off a, a ship once over. Just look at the size of that. A huge one. See them fantastic houses just in the distance there. What a what a magnificent view they'll wake up to each morning. So yeah, you can see uh, we've even got the uh, the pipes. So we've got some in uh, in Blackpool, but you can see they've got the uh, the pipes in Cleveland as well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna walk a little bit further because all of this inside has been developed. Uh, it used to be those little wasteland fields, but now they've uh, been developing the area. So I'm gonna have a, a quick look around. So I'd imagine that's some sort of like substation. You hear like a, a whining noise coming from it. So I imagine that's a, like a substation, I would, uh, I would have thought. And you can see uh, the, uh, the poo pipes, um, which release those gases straight ahead. So I just whip back on the uh, the uh, the prom very very quickly. As you can see, the uh, the lovely sky, the orange and the sun, more or less gone down now. And uh, yeah, we'll go a bit further, but I just wanted to uh, to grab that because that is uh, an amazing view. Just look at that! Wow. So we're just at Anchors Home Park, and uh, I'm not too sure how many people have been in this one. This one is all being um, sort of regenerated um, as of late, and they did hold like a fun fair here a while ago. So you can see straight ahead, we've got like a, a sort of kids' play area, uh, we've got sort of basketball courts, all sorts of things around here. But there's a, also a couple of little buildings, um, so we're going to have a, a bit of a, an explore and see what's uh, going on with those. So you see this uh, huge open space. Look at that, it's like a, a whole circle circumference. And there's two, two of these new buildings. And one of them is a little uh, little shop. And uh, I've never seen this open to be fair. Uh, it looks like there's uh, three outlets. Um, and one's like a sort of an ice cream parlor. And so imagine these would be more of a, a summer thing. Uh, but there's like I said, there's a, uh, there's three of these, and like I said, there's toilets in this facility. There's all sorts of table and chairs. But yeah, it's a, uh, like I said, we've got these uh, these huge buildings. Like I said, one is, uh, is like a little ice cream parlor there. And uh, like I said, you've got the, uh, the toilets, but yeah, just pan the camera right round to, uh, to the left. And we've got this fantastic circumference, look at that where you can uh, imagine sort of play games, just have a picnic. And yeah, it's a, a huge place. So this is all fairly recently. So there was the last few years he's been here. And uh, what a great place. 
So we just arrived at the uh, Norbrecht Castle. You see the uh, how huge this place is. It's absolutely massive. Now, one thing I've noticed, they've got a, a sign up. So it looks like possibly they may be selling part of the land. Because you can see there, for sale residential development site. And it's a uh, full planning permission granted. So there we go. Are they selling part of the, uh, the land off? Make sure when you see this all, uh, we'll just have a bit of a walk inside, not inside the uh, the hotel, but uh, just inside. So it looks like they are possibly selling part of the uh, the land off. So let's just squeeze in there. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, the Norbrecht Castle. And you can see the, uh, the size of the hotel. And this has had some bad feedback. So I mean, I can't comment because I've never stayed here. Um, but it's got many, many facilities, this one. Let's just whip the camera around to the uh, the left hand side. I see another wing of the hotel. So you see all this uh, this land there. It's all fenced off. So that is possibly what's uh, for sale. So that's uh, an interesting one. Yeah, so this is uh, like I said a, a huge huge hotel, and uh, I believe I'm uh, not mistaken. The uh, the owners, I think it's Britannia Hotels. Uh, they own the Metropole as well. And looks like they uh, they own quite a string of uh, big properties um, throughout but yeah they do all sorts of events here um, and they sort of hold all sorts um, which is uh, which is fantastic it is uh, I was probably saying it's the biggest hotel in Blackpool um, like I said the guy uh, there's a bar as well straight uh, straight ahead like a little separate one and uh, around the rear like I said it's a uh, it's huge uh, this is the, like I said the uh, the Norbrecht Castle Hotel and it's uh, recently been uh, painted this like sort of a, a dark grey and a grey colour so let me know in the comments if you stayed at this hotel and uh, what you thought of it what your, what your reviews that's the, uh, the little bar the, uh, the Copper Face Jacks it's called so I'm not too sure if it's still open that one or uh, if that door's just all closed up it used to be open this one uh, they did like sort of sky sports and all sorts of things. And like I say, it's a it's a massive building. Just imagine the uh, the maintenance, um, what it cost just maintaining this uh, huge hotel. Look at that. It's massive. So we're just on Norbrecht Road now, and like I said, it's still uh, that's the uh, the hotel still the uh, Norbrecht Castle. We're on Norbrecht Road and. Let me know if you know as well, because there used to be a pub, oh, so years, probably a couple of decades ago, which was burned down on Norbrecht Road, and uh, it was just located here. You see all the uh, the boards, uh, which are still here. But all this was, uh, like I said, this uh, huge pub, and it's been like this for, for years. You see, we've got a looks like a mattress there, what's been dumped, and yeah, this used to be. Uh, the, I'm not too sure, probably, probably the Norbrecht pub, I'd imagine. But yeah, it's, it's just uh, now it's like completely derelict. You can see all silly to this day. The, uh, the Accrington bricks, um, which probably has all led straight into it. And uh, this plot of land, like I said, it's been uh, derelict for, uh, I'll say, probably about two decades. And nothing has been done. Look at that. Like I say, it's just, uh, looks like it's been. Uh, bit of a haven for a, for a dumping ground. Hope you're enjoying this uh, video so far. Like I said, uh, we explored quite a bit. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the uh, Bisbam Tram Shelter and I'll tell you a little bit of information uh, about the plans, what's in, uh, in the pipeline for that. So let's uh, keep going forward. So we've now hit Bisbam, which is at Red Bank Road and uh, straight ahead is the, uh, the Bisbam Kitchens and uh, you can take away in there, you can eat in. So it's a fantastic little uh, place uh, for tourists and even locals to, uh, to grab their, uh, their fish and chips. So we're gonna head a little bit more towards the, uh, the promenade. So I wanna show you this um, tram shelter because um, it was actually opened in 1932, which not a lot of people know. It was opened in 1932. So it's uh, 90 something years, 90 whatever. I was, uh, uh, maths on the quickest at the moment yeah 1932 and uh, what they're hoping is to develop I mean at the moment they sell like sort of donuts and your ice creams and things but at the moment um, they're trying to get planning permission 
um, for eating and a roof terrace. Um, and it is a listed building, so, you know, uh, the, unfortunately they can't make alterations. I think they try to make alterations, um, or plan to make alterations for the um, stairs internally, uh, which got knocked back because it's a listed building. And uh, so it looks like they've uh, applied for planning permission to build a, a roof terrace um, and have external stairs um, put up the at the top. So we'll have a, a bit of a walk um, through. And this is uh, the right at the top of Red Bank Road. And this is where the, uh, the illuminations um, actually start. And you can see everything, you know, the, sort of, the people are already starting to gather. And it's a, a midweek, you know, it's all Thursday. Uh, like I said, but this is where the, uh, the start. But what a magnificent place that would be if they have a, a roof terrace, you know, overlooking the, uh, the Irish Sea. That would be uh, fantastic. So, uh, like I said, you know, Blackpool Council have said um, no internal sort of alterations because it is, like I said, it's a, a listed building. So, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Like I said, it's uh, it'd be a, a bit of a good one. Um, so, it is, still, it is still hope that plans um, can go ahead. Um, but no application has been made to the council at this time. So, yeah, that'll be a fantastic one. Like I said, we've got the, uh, the little arcade which is uh, just there. We're going to have a, a quick look at that one, just over the road. This is where the, uh, the illuminations, like I mentioned, starts right at the top of Red Bank Road. And uh, you get all the, uh, the tabloids, um, first of all, and the uh, magnificent lights. But this stretches right down, um, sort of two thirds of the way to the, uh, the Gin Roundabout, all the boards. And uh, what, a, what a wonderful way to start the, uh, the illuminations. And, uh, directly opposite is the uh, Queen's Mansions, which is the uh, luxury holiday apartments but underneath we've got the uh, the uh, hearts amusements now this was closed down um because the uh, they put it up for sale but now it's reopened and like i said you don't have any amusements in um in bisbon this is the only one but like i said it's a, it's a great little attraction for when uh, you first start off uh, i'd imagine a lot of people go in there um, waiting for the waiting for the lights to turn on and uh like I said, it's uh, totally new it's like it's all that uh, a bit of a revamp as well. So we're gonna have a, a quick look, a little closer, like I said, uh, it is a little donut stall as well, look at that. So you see the uh, little donut stall there. And uh, yeah, so it's like this had a, a bit of a revamp, but you can see it's already starting to get busy in Bisbon for the lights. We're not gonna video the lights in this one, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of that and uh, mention about the uh, Bisbon tram shelter. So just walking down a little bit of Red Rock Road till we get to the car and there's uh, many little shops down here. Uh, a few of them have actually closed down. So there used to be a, a jewellers down here and a little like a, a post office um, which is uh, sadly gone. The McCall's they used to call that one. And yeah there used to be little jewellers. It's one of these shops. I think it's just uh, to the left. So uh, let's see if that, that one's gone. And, uh, I believe it was there we go so that little uh, that little one there you see uh, that little tiny shop that used to be at jewelers and uh, this used to be the uh, the McCall's uh, so it's like a little uh, off license and uh, post office and that one has gone so I hope you enjoyed this video we're not gonna go all the way down at Red Bank Road um, today but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already subscribed you like the uh, videos we put out don't forget hit that um, subscribe button and uh, any comments I will try to uh, to get back to. And just before I go, uh, straight opposite, which is around there, that's a fantastic little cafe, it's called McCall, uh, McCall's, no, Madison's, I do apologise, Madison's, and they do fantastic coffee uh, and breakfasts and cooked dinners, all sorts in there. If you haven't uh, tried there, pop into uh, to Madison's. So until next time, take care of yourselves and uh, it's a bye from me. Bye bye.